G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hello. We are from Real Oz. We have recorded three other episodes of Friends. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying that. YouTube are going to get them way after Patreon does, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the way it is. You probably won't see this on YouTube until another two weeks' time or I don't know, whenever it is. But on Patreon, you get them basically the same day as we record them. So just depends on the computer too, if the computer stuffs up or not. And knowing technology, everyone knows what technology is like. When it stuffs up, oh, it yeah. does what it wants. With that being said, let's jump into today's episode. Today is episode 13, season 7. The one where Rosita dies. The one where Rosita dies. Interesting. Who's Rosita? I'm not oh, you. Rosita. Ross dress up as a girl or something? No. Nah. I don't know. Let's jump straight into this. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section if you do. And don't forget to drop a like on the video because it helps us out massively. And like I said, if you want to go check this out in full, head over to Patreon, ladies and gentlemen. It's the best way to support us each and every single month. We upload daily content over there, ladies and gentlemen. Just go have a look. You guys will be absolutely happy with what you get over there. All right, let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Real loss. Well, you know, I was thinking of moving the couch over here. There is a decent place. And your lap does not count. <laughs> Yeah. Rosita does not move. Ah, that's Rosita. Joey, it's just a chair. What's the big deal? Perfect angle so you don't get any glare coming off of Stevie. <laughs> Stevie the TV? Is there a problem? No. No! <laughs> oh, no. You bitch. Look at this. Oh, it looks like Mom and Dad's house. The window in the attic. It is your mum and dad's house. Oh my god! What? What happened to the window in the attic? <laughs> I can't believe mom and dad are selling the house. I believe I still don't know what happened to the window in the attic. <laughs> Joey, I'll buy you a new one. All right, we'll uh -oh. go to the store right now and we'll get you a new chair. She's not even cold yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she did always put your comfort first. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We have to say goodbye to the house we grew I up think, in. I think Joey as a kid, you know, when parents lie to their kids that one of their pets have died or something, Joey would be the easiest to lie to. Oh, yeah. Dad turned my room into a gym 20 minutes after I moved out. <laughs> a tanning bed and a stack of Victoria's Secret catalogs, not a gym. <laughs> oh, I really love you. And they thought she was barren. It's not my fault. <laughs> And I've only given two massages, and they were both the worst tippers in the world. That was me and Ross. <laughs> That's right. Some friends of mine made good money in college doing uh, telemarketing. Probably won't have to say spank as much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. Spank. Slowly take off my clothes <laughs> as I spank myself i don't know i don't know what they say i've never rung one up to be fair so i sure won't like, what they say you know. what <laughs> oh yeah like you never called so i think back in the day i think kids would have at least called once every at least once in their lifetime because you got to realize back in the day that was kids way of having yeah that's true so that's the only way they could do those sorts of things yeah so uh, personally, I didn't do it, but, but it's a bit weird thinking that you are getting horny. Just over imagine if it was a dude over a, a person beard. that's probably on the other and side of the line going even have like a deep this. Voice. He doesn't uh, have a deep voice. Yeah, he's got like the the girliest voice you ever heard, but in the real world, he's got like his big beard and his big freaking big fat dude. And he's sitting there talking like that to you, and you're getting horny and playing with yourself over that. So just they're imagine. probably eating popcorn, watching a movie, and they're like, "Oh yeah, baby." While uh, watching it in the cinemas? Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I love my office. <laughs> we don't need any toner. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to bother you. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is easy. <laughs> okay. No offense, but you were kind of rude. <laughs> you can find the answer to it here in the script. I do have one question. What is toner? <laughs> Full bag. Beer is still cold. Uh-oh. <laughs> Something terrible must have happened here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Stevie, I was never here. 
Dad, we, we can't believe you're selling the house. Find the crack in the foundation and the asbestos in the ceiling. <laughs> Let's just grab our stuff, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we can't store your childhood things anymore. Do know that there are six or seven Easy Bake ovens in the attic. I used to love to play restaurant. <laughs> uh, not as much as you love to play uncooked batter eater. <laughs> expect a child to wait for a light bulb to cook brownies. <laughs> so I see the boxes. Dad, who, whose cigarettes are these? I don't know. They must be your mother's. I'll throw these away. <laughs> oh, Dad, my report cards. History, A, Jim. F. <laughs> Ooh, my rock polisher. <laughs> accidentally used Monica's boxes to keep the water away from the Porsche. Oh. Everything's ruined. Oh, no. Dad, she's gonna be crushed. You don't secretly smoke, do you? <laughs> so it's just your mother, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is Phoebe from oh, the entire no. office supplies. I don't need any toner. <laughs> <laughs> but at our prices, everyone needs toner. You want to know why? I surely do. <laughs> because I'm going to kill myself. That's not in the script. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, <laughs> is, is that because you're out of toner? <laughs> <laughs> I can't just let you hang up. Just please talk to me. I only had one thing to do today. <laughs> Why do you want to kill yourself? Nobody here even knows that I exist. Chandler? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Let I mean, me just say that <laughs> that like literally a lot of people actually think like that, and mm. that's just the way the world is. We think that people know who we are, but no one gives a crap about us. Actually, no one does. It's actually funny him saying that because it's like I was talking to someone about this the other day, and they were talking about like, oh, why don't you do like blogs and stuff like that? And I was like, oh, because it's like I have don't have enough time to even wipe my ass, yeah? And they're like, oh, well, if you do vlogs, wouldn't you be a bit weird, like people watching you and looking at you while you're doing it? And someone else said, yeah, that would be weird, people looking at you. And I was like, I said to him, no, but that's not the thing. Like, no one truly cares that you're vlogging. No. They just look at you and then they stop. That's it. No one really gives crap what you do in as well. No. No one truly does as long as, you know what I mean? Like. But if they're benefit benefiting from something, then they will speak up of what you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it, if it if they feel like or if they say something to you or they say something to someone else, it makes them feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, no one truly gives a crap. So I mean, he is right in that sense. No one does truly give a crap except for your loved ones that are close to you. And that's just the way the world works. It's about you can't do anything about it. It's about if you think about it, like every, every action that a person does is because it, I mean, it's because they benefit themselves somehow. Yeah. 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 They don't, it's really weird to see someone doing something for someone else out of love or out of, yeah, because they, they want to help you out. Or it's usually there's something behind it. And even, going to have a coffee or even going with someone to the cinema the other person is going because they're probably bored or they have nothing else to do if they had something else to do they probably wouldn't be there with you it's not necessarily to spend time with you exactly you it's just because mean? they're probably like i'm bored uh you know what let's go and ask this person yeah. if, if she wants to do something if she had or he had something to do they probably wouldn't even call you but that's how it is yeah. i mean at the end of the day if if you don't if you don't think like that sometimes like if you don't go out and do things you'll be miserable all your life inside your house so at the end of the day you have to just follow what the others do and go out as well even if it's selfish or whatever it is you know what i mean exactly yeah i work in a cubicle surrounded by people i'm gonna kill myself <laughs> i got nothing <laughs> Chair. Your name is Rosita. <laughs> Poor thing. Cut down in her prime. Joey, the new chair will be here in an hour. 
<laughs> She's healed. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> you want something enough and your heart is pure wonders, things can happen. <laughs> well, it's not like I did it on purpose. Growing new stuff. Hell. If you want to tell the medical marvel story while we work, that'd be fine. <laughs> I am so psyched I kept this chair for myself. Yeah, me too. You, you the love Rosita. Speakers in the headrest? Oh, that's cool. You get radio. So that that was back in the nineties. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's mm. crazy. I've always wanted a chair with speakers. It was. When, this was two thousands already. Was it probably early two thousand yeah. one? Yeah. So when you go to like the casinos these days, a lot of their chairs have actually got the speakers like in the chairs themselves and you get all the rumbles and everything yeah so i'm thinking maybe the cinemas can do that one day you can go to the cinema cool. and actually feel the rumbles and feel like when someone's like gliding in like a scene or whatever you can feel air hitting you, you know what i mean like there could be something like that in the future that'd be really really cool that would be a way to draw people back to the cinema mm -hmm. just yeah. think about it yeah. If you have, except for when someone's like throwing water and stuff, don't throw water. But you know what I mean, like to yeah, get someone that experience. Well, like this. No, but to get that experience <laughs> back, like the chairs. Like there's so many cinemas where the chairs are just shit. Most of them. The chairs are so horrible. Most it's like cinemas. a 45 minutes in, you're just like, oh, yeah. what the hell, man? My back. Mm. I know there's expensive cinemas in America, the where they've got big freaking theater chairs. But all the way around the world, guys, like the reason why a theater is dying is because of the quality that people get when they go to these places. The thought of someone going to a cinema and being uncomfortable is driving them away. Mm -hmm. And that's the mm -hmm. truth. That's mm -hmm. the absolute truth. My chair heals itself. <laughs> that's true. What about your family or friends or maybe a girlfriend? Sorry, boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare hang up on me! The new girl's good. <laughs> oh, a coloring book. I never went anywhere without without that coloring book. Looks like I had some trouble staying inside the lines. No. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> These are your boxes. <laughs> Garage flooded, sweetie, and it ruined everything in your boxes. I used your boxes to divert water away from the Porsche. There was also leaves and gook and stuff. <laughs> Screw it. I'm having one. <laughs> hey, Chandler. Hey. How would you like to sit in a chair that fully reclines? They won't even let me in the store anymore. You could do it in my apartment. Called Chair of the Year? <laughs> but um, I broke Joey's chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I broke Joey's chair. That's why I replaced it with mine. That's how it got fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Angels. <laughs> my chair back. Looks like it wasn't healed after all. I guess this chair's mine now. <laughs> Joey, you broke my chair. He switched the chairs. There was no miracle? No, Joe, no miracle. Joey well, broke it on devastating. purpose. I'm so glad I have the new chair to get me through this difficult time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know any Earl. I'm right here! <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe? You can't kill yourself. It was fate that made me call you today. I thought it was toner. <laughs> that as well. My mom killed herself. How? I'm not going to give you tips. <laughs> Couldn't it just be a coincidence? No, it's fate. <laughs> my mother was also a supply manager. Actually, the office manager. Oh my god, so was she! <laughs> and, <laughs> it's okay, her name was Pearl. P you know, I'm wearing layers and it's warm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't need you guys to care about me. All universe! <laughs> I really wish they'd care just a little bit. I can't believe they didn't Everything even turn around to see it. It's still soft. Ew. Dead rat. What do you think this is? I think it was a mouse. <laughs> Dead mouse. We love you just as much as Ross. Here's a start. The key to your Porsche. 
What? <laughs> your mother's right. I do look like an ass. You're giving me your Porsche? You're kidding me, right? A couple of stupid boxes get wet and she gets a Porsche? Why don't we take it for a spin? All right. I'm a medical marvel! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, What's going on here? Do you know what happened to Chandler's Barker Lounger? Oh, yeah, Joey broke it. I get a Porsche and the Barker Lounger's gone? <laughs> There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> a good episode, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Good episode. What do you think about um, favoritism between um, Ross and uh, Monica and the dad? What do you think about that? They love your... Ross more than Monica, for sure. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> and you think was Ross right at the end to say, what? She yeah, of course. A Porsche? Of course. He but was that... wrong. No, he was right. But, I mean... That that's the problem. That's what we were talking about with my dad the other day. That the problem with a lot of families is that usually they help the one that they think is more in need. And sometimes, the fact that a, a son or a person doesn't show that they're in need doesn't mean that they're not in need. Yeah. It's just some people like to winch and others don't like to winch. Correct. Yeah. So you can have two children. One of them can be earning a million. The other one is probably earning 1,000. But the one that's earning a million is going on, on trips all the time and is wasting the money and is crying that he has no money. And the one that earns 1,000 probably does nothing, stays home all day and, and is saving money all the time. And he's not complaining because he's living a life that's under his possibilities or her possibilities. But to the parents, the one that earns more money is probably like, to them, it's probably like, oh, he's more in need because uh, he, he needs the money because he doesn't have m- enough money to, fin- to like end the month. But it's, that's not reality all the time. And yet, there's parents out there that w- they would still give money to the one that earns more just because he or she winches, you know what I mean? So I think always treat your children the same and that's yeah. something my my dad teach me and my sister since we were really young like if my sister needed 300 euros my dad would give me 300 euros so the same and if he couldn't afford it he would say no i can't give you 300 euros because i don't have the same money for your sister and same way around if i needed money he had to give the same money to my sister even if she didn't need it mm-hmm. or if she didn't ask for it but she, he would still give it to her yeah and that's why my sister and i haven't really had any problems with like that because of the way my dad's always been and i think it's a very good idea to do to be honest yeah because i know a lot of families that are broken because of favoritism that's true and well, now, what do you think? and now and now put that into perspective if you have seven or eight children would you still give money to every kid if you can't do if you can't give it to all of them you don't give it to any of them what if one what if one kid is really desperate and needs the money? And how do you know the other ones are not desperate? They're probably not telling you. Are you gonna give money to every single one of those kids? Yep. Let's face it, reality, the way you said is 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 non existent. It doesn't exist in, at anymore. It does well, not exist and anymore. And that's where problems come. That's just like, the way the world is. That's just the way the world is. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, the world, the way the world is, is if one complains, one gets. Mm. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's reality, right? But what does, what does that show you? Mm. That you have to winch even when you don't need something, you still have to say, oh. That's the way the world uh, works. You're wiping your face with a 500 euro note. Yep. Oh, I have no money. Uh, I'm poor. That's the way the world works. I'm I am i am not I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I'm just I'm <laughs> I know, I know painting a reality picture. I know, it's it's a reality, I know. Yeah. I, it's sad, to be honest. Yep. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another fantastic episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to go check these out in full, head over to Patreon. All the links will be down there as well. All right, guys, take it easy, peace out, and we'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye. Come and keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off